uh, he didn't really care. <laughs> he didn't really, uh, really give a shit, to be honest. He was more bought into the vision, more bought into the strategy, into myself and the other team members. He kind of uh, swept it across. Okay, what's, what's next, really? No, 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 no. When you buy it, they got to stay six months. We haven't gotten into how they structure the deals yet. They got to stay six months, and we'll, we'll go through that. Um, the, uh, and uh, not funny, but he started the pivot, and then he changed his mind and went back to the same deal they started with. So that, he lost one chairman over that because he said, well, you don't know what you're doing. And, and it's just, he's young. He, you know, he was a kid. You know, he was 20, now he's 22. I forgot he had a birthday. You know, he makes it sound like he's 51 or something. I mean, he's fucking 20, 20. I got shoes 22 years old. I got shoes 30 years old. Anyway, um, the uh, not as articulate is, um, is um, Kira. Uh, and uh, his deal went up and down, up and down based on his passion. I mean, he, uh, he's, um, he's one of those guys, he's either hot or he's not. So, I mean, and, and, he, and, and that came across just, just like I said it to his uh, board members, to his board members. And uh, he, he probably had as much fallout as anybody I've had in the last few years. And, the, uh, um, and him moving from Utah, although I pushed him to move, he lost one guy over that. Um, and, but he hasn't seen anybody in person. Now, the beauty of today in 2016 is that the stuff that a lot of those guys back there had to do, shoe leather. I mean, shoe leather meeting people face to face because it didn't, it didn't work as well on the phone. And uh, he Skyped these people. Uh, and at least they can see you. Uh, and when he's Skyping him, he's always in a suit. Uh, uh, the, uh, he's got one of those t teenage fucking hairdo things, you know, that goes up in the air for no reason. But anyway. Uh, uh, and, um, but, um, the, um, and he's looked at, you know, uh, the, the good thing that the, his CFO has done, because like you said, his CFO has been with him all along and never stopped, never quit, is that the CFO killed deals before they went to the accountants. So the accountants don't think we're idiots, or the lawyers don't think we're idiots asking them to waste time on something that we're going to kill. So his CFO is a good CFO because he's been able to ascertain what we should spend time on and what not. Now this last deal, uh, not the last, but the, the deal that they're uh, honing in on, um, that they said that uh, 60 to 90 days, and the 60 to 90 days are based on the, the due diligence, uh, and to find somebody uh, that for sure, although he's warmed up these financial institutions, which I'll teach you how to do, you'll, you'll need somebody that's actually gonna look at the numbers and say that it's a go. And it's not surprising, because I had read in his weekly report about Lexington, Kentucky, um, that they're underfunded. Uh, many, many years ago, we had the guy from Lloyd's Bank say, uh, tell me in my library that he was uh, 75 million pounds underfunded for the fiscal year for Lloyd's Bank. And in, in Scotland, you fund anything. And um, so, uh, and, if you're, and if you're out stirring the pot of shit, you know, in the financial community, they'll tell you that. If they, if, if, they, if, if, they, if they have a, a level of comfort with you. And they don't have a level of comfort with him because he doesn't know shit, but they have a level of comfort with his board. So they'll say they'll, they'll fund it um, in, the, in the Louisville area. Yeah, I assume that means Kentucky. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Um, I have to go back and read his, re -read his uh, weekly report. And uh, when... Um, in the weekly report, and, he, and when he's asked me, uh, is this a red flag? And then he, there's three alternatives. Uh, he says, I think it's a red flag, but I'm apprehend, apprehensive to blow him out. The second uh, alternative is, uh, I'm going to blow him out. <laughs> the third alternative is, I just suck up, suck it up, and keep him. And, and then so then, and, he, and his alternative is to blow him out. He says, I know the right option. My gut tells me to blow him out. And so then I'll just put right next to it, yeah. Now, that's it. There's no intellectual discourse, no mumbo jumbo, and um, and, and so he did. But when it, when he was going through those uh, three chairmen, I mean, he, he's giggling about it now, but it was not a laughing matter for him. 
I mean, he was wounded. He was like a water buffalo that took two in the shoulder. Not dead yet, but, um, and, and, and it always happens. There's never a good time to make a hard decision. Never. So when did he lose this? the first, second chairman? He's moving from Salt Lake City, Utah, to Nashville, Tennessee, where he knows nobody. Okay. Not, not, you know, not when he settled in, and so, you know, he's, he, 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 he's hemorrhaging blood all the way to fucking Nashville. And, um, but he sucked up his pantyhose, and he's a, he's a good kid, and uh, I think that he's working in uh, hospices uh, on the weekend, uh, wrapping up dead people. Oh, no, no, he's not using his web, but he's, he's wrapping up, uh, I think, in the hospice when the old farts die. Let's see, he's wrapping them up. No, 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 no. But we have a lot less fallout in Europe than we do the U.S. A lot less. A lot less. Yeah, uh, yeah, but I mean... They, uh, the, the people don't seem to um, uh, leave. We still do it. We still get it. But I mean, um, uh, our Denmark guy, uh, which uh, uh, I don't think he's lost anybody on his board. The, uh, the, the Scandinavians, either too stupid, I'm not sure what it is. They, they, uh, they seem to st stay with a sinking ship. I mean, they don't leave. Uh, once you once you get it. it ain't easy to get them though because they they they, they want more more romance they, they they want some foreplay you know they want you know it's just you know but uh once once they de uh, decide um they're pretty firm scandinavian countries um the um the ones that seem to flip flop a lot are south american countries south american countries and um another ones that flip flop a lot uh mexico flip flop Flip flops a lot, um, and but I mean Switzerland in that area. Once they're on board, they seem to stay on board, um, and uh, and the Swiss and Scandinavian countries, the uh, the um, the um, even though this is how it's supposed to work, when you get somebody like uh, uh, an ex-minister, that's a big fucking deal. But uh, the um, uh, but they, 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 they stick, they stick, they stick, and um, it's, it's, not, it's, it's not that hard. It's not easy, though. I don't, I don't want to bullshit you, but it's not that hard. And he, he's, he's doing well. He's doing well. But, and now, he didn't bring it up, but he, he said, is it all right if I, uh, his, his parents or his mother... Uh, planned a trip, to, uh, a trip of a lifetime, some horse shit, to go to Africa and India and fucking, I don't know where. I said, go ahead, because I'm soft on moms. Go ahead. Even though I, you know, I know it's pissing in, 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 in a hurricane, but go ahead. Well, he didn't get anything done those three weeks. He lost ground those three weeks. And I don't know, I don't think he blames me for it, but I said, go, go be a son, I, you know. And if I hadn't put my mother in the grave, I wouldn't be saying that. But I, I'll tell you the same thing. Go be a son. But it's a waste of fucking time, I'll tell you that, before you do it. Just so you don't misunderstand me. It's a waste of motherfucking time. But go ahead and do it. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and do it, you know. Cut your mom, your mom some slack. For you mom's listening in, you ought to tell the kid not to go with you, though. Be stand up, mom, and say, you know, I don't want to take your time out of your life. But not too many moms are going to do that. Are you, sweethearts? Any other questions about um, Victor? Numbers. What do you find the average numbers for? How many deals? Numbers of what? Deals do you look at? Well, I mean, he's looked at 50 deals. Yeah. 50, and he's, uh, if I remember correctly on his weekly reports, we only saw numbers on 10 or 12 deals. Because, ah, okay, what's your revenue? And they're going to lie anyway. What's your, rev what's your trailing 12 months revenue? They give you some fucking number, which isn't accurate, but it's plus or minus 
Okay? What's your, if they don't know what EBITDA is, what's your expenses? Okay? And so then you figure out some, you know, some number, and they either eliminate them then, or you want the next set of questions, which we'll go through, the next set of questions. Uh, and, the, um, and then he got serious about 10 or 12. And it's like a private equity fund. For every 100, you look at 100 deals in private equity, I get this, 100 deals in private equity, right? You look at maybe three to five of them of the 100. I mean, where you actually look at the, study the thing. You make an offer on one to two out of the 100. And you invest in maybe a half of one out of the 100. Those are the numbers. And those are professionals, they're not you. So if you think your number is going to be any better than that, what are you smoking and give me some of it if it's not addictive? And private equity funds, it's a toid, a toid, and a toid. A toid go boost. Bankrupt. A toid break even. And a toid make some money. And 10% of that toid is you're looking for Facebook. Those kind of things. So, I mean, it's a numbers game. In the professional, so you're not going to be, unless you're just lucky out of the box, and some of, some of you will be. Like I said, one of you has got a chance to make more money than all the other success guys, uh, devotees, cumulatively on the planet. And, and I, I, somewhat braggadocious, because they're not teaching how to anybody how to make any fucking money. And that's all, and even though it's dirty and filthy and it's grimy and you know, it's, oh, it's not popular now. It's kind, of my, it's kind of like making pizzas, Anthony. Now, see, I'm enamored with the pizza business, which I think Anthony's already uh, could tell because, you know, because I can just see the little old lady waddling around in the kitchen and she, yeah, because, you know, I, I see that. And then he verifies that's what it is. That's what it is. So I like that. Any other questions about Victor? Yes, sir. Yes, I, I helped him. He's, he, he makes it sound better than it was. Because, you know, I said, are you a fucking idiot? I think is what I said. Uh, which is what I normally say. Are you a fucking idiot? And I said, and, and I'm not making light of the fact that he, he's doing this. His grandmother was in a hospice. And that's a great story. And it's even true. Doesn't get much fucking better than that. It's a great story and it's fucking true. And so that's, you know, because he had some, I forget what the other thing he used, but I didn't like it, it didn't make sense, dog didn't hunt, it just didn't hunt. And I'll just tell you, it doesn't sound right. It doesn't uh, pass the sniff test. It doesn't pass the sniff test. And oh, I've got emails that wanna know, the bald guy, which is you, uh, they want, have him get up in front of YouTube and tell him what his idea is, the bald, Disrespectful, the fucking young kid, the bald guy. And I, I wrote the guy back, fuck off. <laughs> you know, disrespectful. I mean, unbelievable. And then another guy, when you were standing over here, we had a bunch of people say, tell that skinny, they think you're Arab, tell that fucking skinny Arab to sit down when you were standing over here. I mean, these guys, it's unbelievable. They're getting this shit for free and they're slagging us off. I mean, oh God, fucking you. Okay, uh, you had a, another question? Okay, YouTube, thank you. To learn more about this video and all my videos, you lazy cunts, click on this link below. Or you can go to my website, danpenny.com, and see all the fucking free material from the $50 billion man.